How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some unexplained photos that are just plain eerie. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. When Slaptown viewer Chris Zed heard his friend was heading for a vacation in Rome, Italy, he wasn't expecting to see any unexplained photos when they returned from the trip. However, this visit to the Eternal City resulted in evidence that some things may live on forever. The American tourist was walking around the Church of Jesus and Mary when they noticed a few people praying. They stopped to take a picture. When they later reviewed the vacation photos, they noticed something eerie in one particular photo. There's a ghostly girl standing behind the communion rail. The person who took the photo is absolutely certain there was no little girl nearby when they originally snapped the picture. Anyone who's visited a church in Rome probably wouldn't be surprised to hear that a ghost was spotted at a Roman religious site. As one of the oldest cities, Rome is known as a hotbed of spiritual activity. Although the Church of Jesus and Mary doesn't have any famous hauntings to speak of, certain aspects of its history could provide a clue to this ghostly presence. In 1849, the church was sacked in a wave of anti-clerical riots. The confessionals were violently torn out and burned. This violent act could have led to restless spirits. In addition, the church is home to the tombs of several members of the Corno and Bolognetti families. Could one of these deceased parishioners interred within the church's walls be responsible for the unexplained photos of a mysterious ghostly child? The Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky, USA is no stranger to unexplained photos including these submitted by Slaptam viewer Aliyah P. Opened in the early 1900s, this former hospital has seen more than its fair share of suffering. When our viewer's friend visited Waverly Hills, they were hoping to come home with some unexplained photos. The sanatorium didn't disappoint. A wide-angle photo of the outside of the hospital looks normal at first glance. However, a close-up of one of the windows shows a pale, ghostly face watching the visitors from the darkness of the hospital. The visitor who took the photo is certain no one was in the window when they snapped the photo. The sanatorium was constructed during a viral outbreak of tuberculosis, which is a deadly disease that claimed many lives. Records suggest that around 64,000 patients died at this hospital alone. Beneath the hospital lies an underground tunnel known as the Body Chute. It was used to transport dead bodies out of the hospital. Today, many claim that those whose bodies left the hospital through the tunnel never really left. Their spirits are still seen and heard by many who tour the tunnel. Visitors have also had eerie experiences in room 502, where many claim the spirit of a former nurse who died by her own hand awaits. Perhaps one of the spirits said to reside in the dark underground tunnel was in the mood for a change of scenery. Most people use Google Earth to plan a route, look at traffic or virtually explore places around the world. However, Peter Waitira seems to have found another use for the popular website, Hunting Cryptids. He was using Google Earth to do research on his vacation property on the east coast of the far north district of New Zealand's North Island. In the process, he spotted something quite unusual in the water, a huge wake, too large to have been caused by any animal known to live in these waters. According to Waitira, a disturbance this size would have to have been caused by a creature about 12 meters long. This is far too large for a shark. The sharp turn in the wake suggests it couldn't be a whale. If a boat had caused the disturbance, the picture would show frothy white water where its motor churned the surface. One explanation for these bizarre photos comes from the mythology of the native Maori people of New Zealand. According to Maori legend, creatures known as Tanawa live in the deep dark spots of rivers, lakes and oceans. Most descriptions of the creatures suggest they look like huge geckos with protruding spines along their backs. Tanawa are typically considered guardians of the nearby tribes. 
They warn them of approaching enemies and sometimes save people from drowning. Perhaps the homeowner who spotted the creature on Google Earth should consider it an auspicious sign. Google Earth isn't the only place to find unexplained photos of bizarre cryptids. When Steve Chalice was vacationing in Scotland visiting the Urquhart Castle overlooking Loch Ness, he was lucky enough to snap a photo that has many thinking about the infamous Loch Ness Monster. On first glance, the photo in question appears to be that of an ordinary fish. However, Chalice estimates that the creature is at least 8 feet in length. He took the photo when he noticed a large ripple in the water. After watching the spot for a few seconds, he saw the large creature briefly come to the surface of the water before diving down below. He believed it was some sort of catfish and posted the photo online in hopes that someone could identify it. However, many believe that it was no ordinary fish, but rather the famous Nessie. As early as the 6th century, there have been reports of a huge cryptid living in the waters of Loch Ness. Nessie is typically described as having a long neck with one or two humps that are often seen protruding from the water. There have been numerous sightings over the years, as well as organised expeditions searching for Nessie. However, no one's ever been able to produce definitive proof of the cryptid's existence. Now, Steve Chalice's photo has become one of the scores of photos contributing to Nessie's legend. So what do you think? Are you convinced? Is this a real photo of the legendary Loch Ness Monster? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. If a photo posted to the Facebook page iHorror can be believed, then the McDonald's play area may not be the carefree place we once thought. There could be something much more sinister hiding within the slides and tunnels. A mother took her daughter to have some fun in the playground at their local McDonald's. Though the playground is often crowded with noisy children, on this day they were in luck. The playground was completely empty. The little girl headed to one of the elaborate jungle gyms to play while her mum sat down to relax. When the little girl peeked out through one of the transparent plastic windows of the jungle gym, her mother grabbed her phone to take a quick photo. Nothing seemed amiss. Later, when the child asked to see the photo, her mother was horrified to discover that her daughter wasn't alone. Instead, a grey, eerie face was peering through the window alongside her. Trying to remain calm, she asked her daughter who the other child in the photo was. Her daughter calmly stated that it was her imaginary friend, Beto. Who could this eerie face be? Many who have seen the picture online believe that Beto is most likely a ghost. Some paranormal experts believe it isn't unusual for a ghost to latch onto a particular person and follow them to various locations. Many paranormal enthusiasts also believe that spirits tend to be more attracted to children. So what do you think, friend or foe? Before we take a look at an eerie photo taken inside an old museum, remember to hit that subscribe button then tickle that little bell icon there. That way you'll get notifications every time we upload our scary and mysterious videos. The idea that ghosts are attracted to children seems even more believable after viewing this next photo taken by a mum who was visiting the Riverside Museum in Glasgow, Scotland with her nine-year-old son. This haunting photo left the mum wondering if she came home with one too many children. The mother and son walked through a Victorian themed display at the museum, taking pictures and having a fun time. When they went home and reviewed the photos, both mother and child were disturbed by what they saw. The ghostly image of a young girl waving at the camera. Although the girl is mostly bright white, she seems to have curly brown hair and to be wearing a floral dress. The mother also noticed that in the previous photo, a white mist seemed to be forming near the bottom of the shot, making her believe that the little girl's appearance was paranormal in origin. Many believe that the mother simply caught another child in the photo who appeared bright white because of the flash. However, she's certain that her son was the only child around when she took the photo. She also points out that in the numerous other photos she took, there appears to be no other children. The museum's owner wasn't surprised to hear about the ghostly photo. This particular area of the museum is a replica of the Mitre Bar, 
built on the exact spot where the pub originally stood. While the pub was in operation, the staff frequently reported spotting the spirit of a young washer girl who tragically died there years before. Could this be the same girl who appears in the photo? Unfortunately, without more information, this photo will have to remain a mystery. If you want to see some more weird photos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a paranormal playlist right there that you can binge on for hours and hours. Remember to pulverize that thumbs up button or leave us a comment down below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 